All right, I wanna show you guys how to make a stamp. So there's a lot of characters that I draw and I draw the same shapes over and over again. One thing you can do is draw your shapes and then make a stamp out of it. So anytime you wanna use them, all you have to do is go to that brush and then stamp it. So you don't have to continuously draw the same elements. So the first thing you wanna do is just make a new canvas. Uh, I think a square is pretty good. This one is 3000 by 3000 pixels. It doesn't matter which color uh, you choose for a background. Right now I just have this beige color. But you want to make a new layer above that. And just choose whatever color you like to draw with. So I'm going to use this dark red and I'm just going to use uh, paintbrush one, which is a paintbrush like this. So I draw a lot of those little monsters. And a lot of them have like cute little horns. So I want to make a new stamp that's going to be a horn. And you want to make sure you spend some time on your shapes uh, because if you're going to be using these over and over again then it, it pays to take the time now to make sure that you to make sure that they're perfect so you don't have to come back and always fix them when you use them I'm just going to center it so I'll just put it in the center of our square and I'm going to make a new layer underneath and I'm going to make that layer black so now we have our shape on a black layer underneath and I'm going to take this go to hue saturation go to layer and I'm just going to make it white so this is pretty much all you need for a stamp. Just save this as a JPEG. So save as a JPEG. So now it's saved. So now uh, what I usually do is I made some, some shapes here is I just use this solid circle and I duplicate it because I like the properties of the solid circle, which is just like that, plain and simple. So I'm just going to take the solid circle brush, I'm going to click on it, and it brings up my options. All you have to do is go to Shape, Edit, Import, Import a Photo, and then you go to your shape. So this is our horn, and hit Done, Done again, and now you see your shape here. And another thing that I do is I always go to About This Brush, I'll name this Horn, Two, made by me, sign it, done. So now we have our horn here. So now that we have our stamp, I'll just show you how to use it. So you can just go to your paintbrush, just find the stamp that you made right here, horn two. So I'm just going to tap on that and I'll tap on the same color that I used to make it. You can adjust the size here. And then you have your shape. Make it a little bigger. And then you have your shape that you can easily access. Uh, also one thing to note, you might have to go into your shape settings, go to properties and go to orient to screen because this might be, this will probably be unchecked, orient to screen. And if it's not checked, it might go like this. It might just be like a random way. So if that's the case, just go back into your brush, properties, orient to screen, and then it should, it should be the proper way. So and I'll, I'll also show you a practical use of this shape. So here are some other shapes that I made. We'll use flan. And I'm just going to change the color of the background. I'll change that to that color. Color pick the pink. On this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a layer above, use my stamp, and then I'll duplicate. I'll go ahead and merge these and make a new layer. So now I'll use a different shape. I'll use uh, Smile 1. So that looks pretty good right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these eyes and I'm going to cut them from the blue. So cut. 
And now I'll bring those eyes below and I'll just do hue saturation and I'll just change them to be white. Okay, so now we have that, so now I'm gonna use my horns. I'll make a new layer, go to horn two. Let's just go with the white. Adjust the size, so that's pretty good. So I'm actually gonna bring that lower below, even below his eyes. I'll make it a little smaller. There's one, and now I'll just duplicate that. Go to my selection tool, flip it horizontally, and bring this to the other side. And then you pretty much have your, your little shape. Yeah, hope you guys make some cool stamps.